Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is 27th of November 2018. This is 7th episode about Windows API. In this session, we will learn enabling and disabling privilege in C++. About enabling and disabling privilege in C++, please refer to this web page. Also, we will be using this function, adjust token privilege function. Please also refer to this page. And this session continues from my previous session. Please watch this episode, Windows API 05, how to retrieve the privilege of a process. From this YouTube video, Please click this link to download source code from our previous sessions. We will be using some functions from our previous session. Also, my previous session, Windows API 06 Privilege Constant and Locally Unique Identifier, will be using some routines, some functions from this session. Please click download source link. Show in folder, unzip, also unzip. In Visual C++, we will create New project, win32, enable, disable, privilege, solution. And name, name the project, enable, disable, privilege. Click OK. Click finish. From downloaded folder, constants, right click, edit in notepad. We'll be copying the whole source code, control A, then Paste, we will delete main function, save, then scroll up, we will remove this part, save, in download folder again, retrieve privilege solution, retrieve privilege, this file, we need this file, copy here, paste, then we will copy this part of code, without including main, copy, scroll down, here, paste. We will be using this function in this session. At the end of file, int main, display, privilege, return, zero. Control F5. Okay, this is the previous state of our program. Pool, set privilege, handle, h token, LUID, LUID, pool, be enable. Token privileges TP TP privilege count is one TP privileges zero attribute be enable if it is true then SE privilege enabled else zero TP privileges zero LUID LUID if adjust token privilege h token pulse tp size of tp null null if failed scdc out failed to adjust privilege std c out std and there return here error get last error false d word llt get last error if llt error success i would say error not success std c out failed to adjust privileges std and there return false else return true okay now we will change it one thing more one more function we will overload it here constant wide character t privilege constant i changed it like this here we use get luib value privilege constant please note that it can it can return null if tp privilege zero luid luid it means it failed i will use equal eq equal luid 
sorry, I will define an operator, bool operator, LUID, constant LUID, LUID1, constant LUID, LUID2, return LUID1, high part, LUID2, high part. And LUID one low fat, LUID two low fat. I defined operator equal operator for LUID. Save. Then here. Like this. It means failed. CD, C out, failed to convert. No, we will just return. Return, false. We failed to convert LUID. No, we will just call LUID. Sorry, I will change like this. Else, we can call this function. Return, set privilege. H token LUID B enable. We are calling this function like this. Then here SDDC out before adjust privilege. STD and then I will copy this part. Now let's run. And uh, control F5. Okay, this is for before adjust privilege. We please note that as C shutdown privilege is disabled, we will enable it. Set privilege. We need to provide token handle H token process token get current process token adjust privilege then h token if it means failed std c out failed to get access token std and then return zero else we have to provide token here h token then se shutdown name okay then true enable then after privilege we display privilege at this point we enable shutdown privilege then we display the result control f5 okay before adjust privilege as c shutdown privilege is disabled after adjust we enabled uh, shutdown privilege like this it works perfectly i will put new line like this we will create two more functions int main return zero and i will change this function name int test set privilege i change the function name like this and copy paste then control f5 we test once again okay it works now we disable it we copy here click this display privilege we will copy this function copy it and paste right before function main paste and we change it set privilege pool p enable please note that we created display privilege in this session 
In Windows API 05 session, we created display privilege function. We created display privilege function in our previous session. Here, we have to change this to like this. Token adjust privilege and token query. We have to fix like this. Save. Then scroll down. Scroll down. We will remove this part up to here we also remove this part now we call set privilege h token we are using luid luid then b enable save we will now test this function bool test set privilege i will say all std c out default process privilege std and then privileges display privileges now we disable all disable disable all process privileges set privileges pulse it disables all privilege then we display once again now we copy enable all privileges true i will put like this like this now we test this function test test set privilege all test set privileges all control f5 return true please note that default process privilege as C shutdown privilege is disabled, set change notify privilege is enabled, all other uh, privileges are disabled. When we disable all pre process privileges, all privileges are disabled. We enable all process privileges, all process privileges are enabled. So this, this function enable or disable privilege using privilege constant string and this function enable or disable privileges using LUID locally unique ID then this function enable or disable all privileges in a process this way we can completely control privileges in our access token please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching